Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Game It Out. I am Josh. Today we're doing a first look at a game called The Warhorn. Early access 0.8.2.5. <laughs> welcome, Let's Game It Out. Good to be here. Welcome, The Warhorn. Alright, so we're awake now. What do we got here? Ooh, whoa, <laughs> easy there, dude. Let's let's calm those fists. Let's see, we got bread off the plate. We have ale. Must have been a wild night. Can I just punch anything? Is this the kind of person we are? Sun's out, gun's out. Alright, so let's pick up the bread. We got a note here. Welcome, I left a few items for you in a chest. I think that they will be very helpful since you're here for the first time. You can find me downstairs. This supports my wild night theory. Oh, wow. I got really cute toes. Okay, what do we go? Uh, look at my... <laughs> Uh, am I a time traveler? Why do I have a v-neck and like cargo shorts? Where are my shoes? In the meantime, let's go ahead and take these sticks and roast beef and all mine now. I just hit space bar and took them all. Ooh, another chest, eh? I don't have a key. Fine, fine. I'm not gonna ask too many questions. I am gonna take this gold though, as well as this loose tallow. These nice silver dollars here. Pretty much anything that's not nailed down is gonna become my property as far as I'm concerned. What about this? Can I get in here? If I stand up, can I just... Oh. <laughs> Welcome to your nightmare. Am I late for frisbee golf? Did the boys leave without me? All right, enough screwing around, but it is nice to know there's a third person mode here so we can see our beefy lumberjack. Ah, are you my savior? Talk to Adam. You're the quartermaster here, am I right? You're right, my friend. Welcome to our city. If you need any help, you can always visit me and ask. I know many people on the island, so I might be able to help you. What's the price for a night? For newcomers, it's always free. I'm glad that new people are visiting the island. There's some bad people out there, so it's always nice to see fresh, kind faces. Do you know anything about the war horn. Wow, you're just really cutting to the chase. Not much. I just know that it is hard to find. Ooh, and I got a new quest. I don't understand how it all works, but Wizard Jacob should know more about it. He's walking around the city, so just, just go and find him. You can also go and talk to my brother Snaff, or as I'm gonna call him, Oh Snaff, at the inn. He might know more. Where are my clothes? How wild did I get last night? You put it beside your bed, so I hid it in the chest in case someone wanted to steal it. Uh... Adam? We gotta talk, buddy. You should be very careful with your items, my friend. Anyway, there you have it. I watched you sleep in the nude. I know that it may be hard to get used to, but you should have your eyes open at all times on this island. You just told me how you're happy to see a kind face, and now you're like, harden up and kill someone. I would recommend buying a map from Gregory, our cartographer. Also, if you encounter a wooden house in the middle of nowhere, you can be sure that you can find one in there. What? You have questionable ethics, sir. Alright, let's, uh, let's take a look at all your things, though. Oh, you just left these coins lying around, huh? That's just too bad. What's this? What is, what is, what is oh, let's see. Any, any gloves? Anything I can take. This all looks like... <gasps> oh, Adam, you keep the good stuff down here, don't you? I'll take that speed potion. Healing. Heal. Night vision. Uh, and a key. Well, that's early access for you. They haven't implemented the part where they care that I've stolen all their stuff. But that's my gain, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. What do we got in here? Eight gold nuggets already turning green to show their counterfeit. Oh, hey, there's my clothes, too. So, I think we can admit that I am a time traveler, right? Because before, I'm just some dude bro working at a startup. And now I'm some dude bro who somehow got convinced to go to a Ren fair, but he still put on the outfit because he thought it'd get him laid. Look at this vibrant world out here. Where do we start? Let's see. If only I could decipher these clues. So this game advertises base building. That's what really led me to this. I mean, I, I'm all for RPGs in general, especially ones that just let me steal things right out from under people. But outside of the RPG elements, what really got me going, oh, an axe? It's the promise of base building and village building that excited me. Mostly ways that I can torment my own villagers. So I have no idea if that's possible, but we can always hold on to that hope, see if we can make it a reality. For now, I couldn't help but notice that my guy is incredibly thirsty. Hey, check it out. Well, there's this, uh, hey, buddy, don't watch what I'm gonna do, okay? Oh, yep, there we go. Just drink up. Yeah, there you go. That's not gonna be poisonous at all. What can you tell me, sir? Oh, he's the armorer. That's why he has all these things. So I'm not gonna need all this crap, because you, oh, wait, hold on. Spoke too soon. Look at that cap. I think we have something to look forward to now. In the meantime, let's continue our journey of seeing if there's anything not nailed down, because if there's one thing we learned, these people don't really care if you take things. Have a great day, sir. Oh. Hello? I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Hello, sir. Oh my goodness, look at all these axes I can take. And these torches? Oh, you're my favorite house. I like how if you take one step over, he looks over like, huh? What are you doing over there? Alright, we gotta find one of these guys that's got work for us. Although I'm starting to think the best work is uh, drinking out of these barrels here and then just taking what we want. For example, so at this point I'm carrying four axes and I already have a full inventory. I think we're doing everything right here. We can see on the right side here, there are things that we can craft. My understanding is if there's a little green 
green indicator there, that means that I have the materials needed to make it. Pretty simple recipe is pretty obvious. I'm feeling that. We also have a building tab, which shows us all of the fun things that we can make. This is where it gets real interesting. You've got your beds, your chairs, your candles. Oh, paintings, trophies, flowers, rugs. Can I open this? I don't know how to use lock picks. It's not that hard, dude. You've seen what they do in the movie. You just look around a couple of times and you just jimmy the thing in there. Well, hey there, Rain Boots. What are you doing? Are you here for the Ren Fair too? Hello, I'm Gregory. I am a cartographer. If you want, I can sell you a map of the island. 250 gold? What? Hey, Gregory, I got an idea. How about you take your map and here's my payment. What do you think of that, huh? You like that payment? Huh, open window, hey? You shouldn't have left your window open like that, Gregory. Let's see, if I were Gregory's key, where would I be? All right, Gregory, you won this round, but I'll be back. That really lays the groundwork for something exciting, though, which is that we can just crawl right in through windows. Guys, you really shouldn't leave all this stuff lying around. Like, as a town, do you think they're gonna notice this epidemic of all their stuff missing? I also like that you can be a maniac and just run around town, shadow boxing. Oh my god, what is this up here? Hi, Rajkos. What do you do in the city? Ah, uh, another young face. I am Rajkos, and I am the architect here. I make sure that newcomers are able to build almost anything out of wood. I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but there isn't enough space for newcomers here, so I encourage you to build your own village if you want to stay alive longer. I offer plans for log buildings and plank buildings. What? That's your pitch? Your pitch is that there's not enough space in town. You should make your own town. And of course, like any discerning customer, my only question is just wooden buildings? Ah, I see that we have a more ambitious builder. It's good to hear that you want to be more safe. When you're ready to build stone buildings, go and visit the small stone city. I really recommend you buy a map of the island from Gregory. Look, I'm on to your guys' little pyramid scheme, okay? Just show me what you've got to offer here. Oh my god. Why is this stuff all so expensive? I can't believe all these people. I realize they built a really pretty town here, but geez. Lock day. Well, never stopped me before. There we go. There we go. What's this? A map for free? You shouldn't have. And out we go. Let's take a look at this map now. What do you mean I don't have a map? I'm holding it right here. Look, look. Okay, so I had to absorb the map into my skin, which is what I just did. There we go. Look at, wow. It's a really detailed map considering all the money I just saved. This is a crazy piece of paper. Look at that. It's got the tear mark still, but I can move it around. Magic Castle, Stone City. There's a lot going on here. Warrior Camp, Thief Camp, Fisherman Camp. I am overwhelmed. Here's what I'm getting from the plot. I want something called the War Horn. I'm not willing to work for it. I just need people to tell me what to do. If they lock their doors, it's no big deal to me because all I need to do is run around, go in the window. No one seems to care. I haven't seen any guards yet. I don't know how to pick locks, but we'll figure that out. A lot of little decoration around. A lot of barrels to drink out of. A lot of windows to climb into. Look at this box of heavy leather pants. Look how spruced up you look. L look at this ideal little piece of, wow, that moon moves fast. All questions and concerns can be directed to the quartermaster, Adam, or his brother, Osnaf, from the inn. It's recommended that everyone buys a map from Gregory as well as building plans from the architect, Rajkos. Dude, do you see the scheme that this city is running? Gary? Oh, Gary doesn't even want to talk to me. Maybe Gary will talk to my fists. Let's get out of here. Ah, uh, here we are in the grand expanses of where they told me I should build my own city. Uh, <laughs> this guy's all business. Look at this. If I try and talk to him, he's like, here's a map. Tell me where you want to go. Here's how much it costs. No eye contact. Wow, it's like I'm running around a painting. So if we look at our map, we're leaving Old Town. Oh, look at these sunflowers. Did I just like take them and turn them into XP? Is that what's happening here? Let's go into the forest here. Oh yeah, yeah. Take out that tree. Show it what's up. I'm getting wood from this, as you can tell by the little symbol that appears every time I hit it. And also I get some sweet, oh, what happened here? I think this is the indicator that the tree is now out of stuff. And now the tree needs to heal before I can start beating on it again. I neglected to show this off, but we also have our character screen here. We have our notes because we've been stealing these whenever we find them. And we have our quests, which I don't know if you know this, but our adventurer's name is literally Let's Game It Out. But we also have this hilarious skill tree of which we got fun stuff like unlocking fighting, unlocking building, unlocking mobility and survival. But you know, it's what you can expect. The fighting thing, you've got stuff that allows you to do more damage, survival stuff, your tools are better, your hit points are better, your hunger is slower. For mobility, you can move faster, you can swim better, and building, of course, you're better repairing, your buildings are better, and you can eventually build war machines. I need to understand how to unlock lock picking, and I guess building, apparently. <gasps> I gained a new level. Let's unlock survival. Ta-da, I did it. <gasps> Don't look now. I see dinner. Easy, easy, easy. Easy. No, no, come here, come here. Yeah, <laughs> just chase this, oh God. It's like I'm chasing like a sausage with legs. Oh, yeah, loot him. Yeah, take it all. Oh, oh, you look so majestic. 
You're gonna look so majestic as I'm stabbing you. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. It turns out I've got superhuman running. Oh, yeah, you don't have a family, do you? <laughs> oh, no. That's not okay, dude. Did your bones all just go away when you died? Are you still breathing? Oh, my God, I think he's still alive. Oh, no, oh, my God. He actually just stopped breathing as I stared at his upside-down mangled body. This is the most traumatic thing I think I've seen in a video game. Well, I'm over it. Let's eat some raw venison. Oh, I don't even need my knife for this. I can just do this the old-fashioned way, where I just punch something in the butt forever. Oh my god, it's so weird because the tail keeps flying up in my face and I just keep going straight for the dead center of the bullseye. Oh my god. It died with its eye just open, staring at me. Unlike the deer, rigor mortis set in instantaneously. Check it out. This field actually might be a good place to start my town. So if I go to building mode over here, there's a bunch of different things I can do. In order to build your house, you need to have building plans and a totem placed. Totem I can start with. So, I don't know. This seems as good as any. Here we go. Right here. Oh boy, here we go again. Enter the village name. Punchville. Ah, good old Punchville. So now we're heading back to the main city to get us some building plans. Look what I found. Oh yeah. I right, just knock them all off. Don't have any finesse whatsoever. Just destroy Mother Nature as fast as you can. My god, is this the town's only outhouse? Does everybody have to use this? Alright, which one of you people has building plans? I'm sure it's not you, but let's ask anyway. Hello there. Leave me alone. I don't have any money. I can't help you, my friend. I'm just looking for a job. Then go and talk to my brother. I'm currently busy as hell. Yeah, dude, you look it. Sure am thirsty. Where's one of those things I can... Ah, here we go. That's the good stuff. Hi, Roshkos. I'm here to pay your exorbitant prices. <sighs> Give me the wooden building plans. Thank you. What do I do with these? I think this means I absorb them into my into my essence. Yep, you have a new skill. Check it out. If we look over at our character here, building Uno is now lit up. Thanks. Now that I know how to build, if I push B, I believe this laser field is the boundaries of my town. We need a town hall. This is easy. Where do I put it? Do I just put it right there? Let's have it. Uh, sure, whatever. That seems good. Really? That's my town hall. You just show me the dream. Then it's like, here you go, dickhead, build it. I've never felt so honey dicked in all my life. Did you see that giant building? It was like, yeah, isn't this, isn't this impressive? Yes, yeah, what it could be. Get to work. What do you mean modify? This is a pile of sticks. Okay, now I get it. I was like, wow, this is too good to be true, 15 wood. Now here, I'll put the wood on there. There we go. You take that. Here, have, now build it. Oh, now we're talking. Now it's like a montage in front of me. This is... <laughs> Emotions running high over here. First, I feel tricked. Now I feel like I'm watching a specter build my house for me. Wow. In the town hall, you will find books that will enable you to manage and upgrade your village. That's cool. Are they going to call me mayor? What's this key for? How come I can't pick up my own key? Ah, look at that. That's not immersion breaking at all, is it? Oh my god, I can create NPCs. Tell me more about this. All right, Punchville, what can we do here? Resources required to level up. 50. Easy. There we go. Level up. What did that mean? What did that even mean? Okay, so now it wants planks and wood. Needy motherfucker. This is great and all, but Mayor Let's Game It Out needs his own house. So first, let's build us. We're gonna put the foundation there, and there, and there, and there. I can't help but think I built a little high, but um, <laughs> it's too late now, I guess. Now let's do some stairs. Looking real spruced up here. I just realized now I'm gonna have to do some weird single doors leading into the same house. Why can't I place these, huh? What's the deal? You too good for these walls? Oh, do I need to, do I need to put these down? Does that allow me to build walls? Oh. Oh, gotta really structure this out. And then comes the walls here. That, and that, and that, and that. Well, could look worse. Of course, we're gonna have a second story of some design that I have not decided yet. So for now, we'll just have this weird looking structure going to the sky like that. Looks like a little mini castle, doesn't it? One important thing we're really gonna need is that water barrel. So let's make sure to put that somewhere where I can access it all the time. Yeah, okay, cool. That's exactly what I meant. That is precisely where I wanted that water water barrel. Just suspend it in the air so that when I want to drink water, I'll just jump into it and just dunk my head real quick. Well, now that you're there, I've committed. You're staying right there, floating in the air for all to see. So I think I'm going to cap it here for our first look at Warhorn, but you know what? We've got so much left to do. We have NPCs we need to bring into our town. We have so many other places. Look, look at the map here. Look at the map. We've explored basically this little section right here. There is so much more game out there just asking for us to discover it. Probably people to beat up. Got a magic castle to go to. So I think there's a decent chance that you're going to see the war horn again. If nothing else, I need to see what it looks like when we make our own village. And one day, my graceful mansion with the possessed water trough will be complete. So that's going to do it for this episode of Let's Game It Out. As always, I am Josh. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this game, and I will see you next time.